Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know the goddamn drill. King Lightning here today. One Piece wa Chapter 808, live reaction, Duke Inu Arashi. Of course, if you guys had a good Thanksgiving, good on you. And this cover page right here is of Usopp's old friends, his old crew. <laughs> oh my god! Usopp, man! Just the, the fact that his bounty is so goddamn high, it is... And now he's, he's referred to as God. It, it's just crazy. And oh yeah, I forget too. Usopp's future wife right there in the corner. So, that's lovely. We are in the midst of flashback. A mammoth, a mammoth! Why is such an ancient creature? Da, 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 a mysterious invader. The bell is ringing, that's the monkey. We're being invaded. Their pirates drive him out of here. Good luck with that. And, oh, good lord. Now, now, we all know that Drake's a bitch, but, but let's keep it real here, all right? First of all, they're looking for uh, Wano, Country, Warrior, Ryza. Okay, yeah, so we, are, we were right on that one. However, before going any further, I understand that, you know, the T-Rex is more ancient than the Mammoth, the Mastodon. However, like, just, uh, oh, God. Let me just see how this pans out. Because given the hype, he ain't no bitch. He's not like Drake. But let's see if he can actually deliver. Let's see if his actions are equal to that of his lore. <laughs> the legend of Jack. <laughs> the one you see standing before you is the great Yonko, his majesty, Kaido's right-hand man. Known as one of the three being labeled as the Calamities. His excellent Jack the Drought. What? <laughs> what? All land he passes through decays away as if it's been through a drought. The star of the 100 Beast Pirate Captain of the Mammoth, Jack the Drought. Fucking crazy ass title. Just crazy ass title. <laughs> The right hand man of Kaido. And and this whole thing about a drought, like so well he has the trunk, so what? Is he like sucking up like mad water and shit? Like fucking like like, like it, it, but at the same time he's a double fruit user, so it's like 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 normally that would weaken them if they take in oh I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Shit. The calamity <laughs> One of the three. So there's three motherfuckers in Kaido's crew, including Jack, that are labeled as calamities. So they go into countries and they just, just ravage them. Entire areas are just wiped out. Remember how in Big Mom's crew, during Fishman Island, there was that one guy, um, Bobin, he was going like, boing, like that guy. How he came back from like destroying an entire country on Big Mom's orders. Yeah, like they, like that's what I'm talking about right there. When you have people that can go into a country by themselves and completely destroy that country. But, but again, like this is just more, this is more talk, all right? Let's see some action, all right? Like, what can he do? That's the main thing. Or this guy, he's the sheep guy that Sanji kicked, that Sanji took out. 100 Beast Pirates Gifter Headliner? Sheep Sheed. Grandpa Monkey. Okay. All right. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Okay. Okay, Jack. Pulling out some stuff. You got the Grandpa Monkey talking some shit like we would never lie. If you're looking for somebody, you must patiently search around case by case. Tusk. The, the, the trunk, the fuck, the fuck that case, my case, my ass, bitch. Right now, I am the law, and you must respect uh, the law. And, and he's coming in strong with an immediate tusk swipe. Took out a building or two. Folks are flying. It doesn't matter if you're man, woman, or well, female, male, mink, child, mink, elderly mink. It don't fucking matter. It's like case by nigga. What case by what now? What you say again? Fuck out of here. I like it. Oh, and unlike someone we know, he has range. So we find out that the girl, the girl that was with uh, Sheep Sheep long ago, that's her name, Ginrami. Do we come here to simply converse and chit chat? No, of course not. We came here to capture a single samurai. So Jack is saying, listen, man, I got, well, I got one demand. Bring Rajo to me. That's all I want. Supply and you live, fight and you die. And yeah, you have this one, uh, what is the raccoon thing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever, not important. Fuck it. Basie's going like this. That, that's absurd. We've been telling them that Raizo was not here, and yet we don't give a fuck. So then, bit turn this country inside out. Pleasures, pleasure. Ple what? Then so be it. Turn this country inside out. Pleasures. Is that a group? 
Oh, but the Mink, as we know, they got some fighters too. They're not completely useless. They got some combatants too. They ain't scrubs. This country has no weak links. Every single Mink is a born warrior. I'm a warrior. Okay. Warriors come out to play. And then they summon the boys and the gals and they're ready to go. Like even like this kid Mink, even this kid Mink, he's all shocked up ready to go. Static shock style. Yo, no, nah, but she has a problem though. She has a problem. Because now that means that Jack himself has to roll up them sleeves like, okay, all right, okay, okay. Okay, you wanna play rough? We gonna play rough. We gonna play rough tonight. Even our infants are able to fend from them. It's, it's crazy. All right, man. The abilities of our musketeers. Uh-oh. And they're not talking about those candy bars. No, they're fucking delicious. Oh, I know. I, I, I got the gut to prove it. But they ain't talking about those. No. Each of whom has been through further training are beyond words. Like, whoa. So we, you, you got like, the regular cats, literally. And then you got like the high love motherfucker. Right, you got like the whoa guys, like probably like the kings of day and night, like those guys. At the very least, please talk this out with our duke. Talk. I refuse. Jack doesn't care. He just doesn't. He's like, listen, I'm here for Ryzo. Just stop, stop talking. Just bring him. Just bring what? Tusk, get out of here. I, I like Jack. He's crazy. He's like refreshingly crazy. Like we need a madman once in a while to make things more interesting. Gifters go forth. Hell yeah. Gifters. They're clearly zoning. I mean, one guy. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Goat? What the fuck is going on there? <laughs> That's stupid. So we have one guy with like the horns and shit on the side. We have Kingler. He came to One Piece. Got with some teeth. Raised from teeth like a snake. Okay, so I'm starting to understand this. The gifters are those in among Kaido's crew who were probably given zone powers via the Snod Devil Fruit. That's my assumption. Those are the gifters. The pleasures are just regular average day humans or you know like regular pirates who don't have any zone abilities. That's my assumption. So let's go, because that's what they look. So let me go from there. And now we're out of flashback. That's a shame. I want to see more Jack. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Luffy heard about the mammoth. He's all smiley and chill. Like, hey, you saw a mammoth. He's like, stop it. Be more sensitive. God damn it, Luffy. That probably means the ninja that Kinemon was talking about isn't here. What a bummer. And he just like, he, you know, he says that casually. And then everyone's like, not lift Luffy. Like, what did they say before about talking about Wano Kuni or Samurai? What the hell, son? That's why Momonosuke is, like, hiding somewhere. <laughs> they gotta beat him down. <laughs> I like how Brooks spun that. He's like, oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, er, Indra... We're wondering how the injured are doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, Brooke. The master of spin. Lord Sicilian is going mad. Duke Inuarashi Sanatorium. People are just flying. Lord Sicilian, what has you so distressed? Okay, so there is a, like a French cat dude. Member of the three Inuarashi Musketeers. So they, they are going that like musketeer route. He even has the cape, he, he has the whiskers, the hat, the thing. You know, let me just show you, right? So so they're going full blown musketeers route. And they are the top combatant of Zo. That's what I'm getting at here. And let me see here. Inuarashi Musketeer, Squad Captain, Lion Mink, Full Power, Sicilian. I mean, is there a difference between a regular power Sicilian and a full power Sicilian? I I don't fucking know. If you look closely, you can see that he is also bandaged up. So, regardless if he's full power, half power, regular power, Sicilian or not, he still got fairly beat up. So, he's not enough. So, he's not strong enough to beat Jack and his men. Kindness, love, affection, babies, sugar, and honey. Spice and everything nice. Do not ever talk about anything sweet in my presence. <laughs> what the fuck is up with this guy? So strict, but yet so cool. Alright. <laughs> did this guy just do a leaping bow? He straight up just did a leaping bow. Like, the dude got some serious hang time. He came down strong. Like, oh shit, the Mugiwara crew gotta take the knee for Monkey D. He tends to go all out on everything he does. I swear to God, there's another character in One Piece like that. Uh, wow. It's fucking. That's a really. Big man dog, Duke. Thank goodness you're safe. Wanda's all over it. 
Yeah, he's a big man. I guess more ways than one. You <laughs> you all really did us an incredible favor. Words can I express my gratitude. Mokomo Dukidom, uh, king of the day of Zol, Duke Inuarashi. So let's take a, take a good look at the big dog. Big boy. So when he thanks the Shrek crew, he's not just thanking Nami, Brooke, Sanji, and Chopper. He's also thanking Luffy as well. He's thanking like their entire crew. Why exactly? Not too sure. Maybe it has something to do with him beating Flamingo, therefore forcing Jack to actually move and, you know, take out and try and regain Flamingo. So there was like a momentary calm when they beat Flamingo because Jack had to leave. So. Maybe. But old man, you must be super strong. You sure look pretty strong. Hold your tongue. The Duke is the country's strongest warrior. But he lost. So... It's true that our enemy was a troublesome one. But we had the upper hand in battle. If only Jack hadn't brought such a weapon into our country. Whoa. Whoa. Are you saying that this guy is on the same tier as Jack? About the same time, we haven't seen Jack fight. Okay, okay. So, weapon. What's the weapon? The weapon that destroyed this country was Caesar's poisonous gas weapon. What? What's it called again? Uh, Kirakuni or Karakuni? Uh, like, Death Country? Uh, that thing? Where the fuck is Caesar Clown? And that's a chapter. Where is Caesar Clown? Number one. Number two, really? That thing? Uh, I mean, didn't Chopper, like, make medicine to reverse the effects or, or, or was that law or whoever but the fact that jack had a poison gas weapon to begin with so did they regain caesar clown at some point i mean we know that caesar clown was with uh sanji and company when they were fighting against big mom but after that i mean i'm, I'm not too sure so there are still mysteries there's still, there's still things being developed here and then oda he's laying it all out but it's taking some time all right, it's taking some time, obviously. So that's chapter, and I'm done. I'll see you guys for the review, which will be this chapter and the previous chapter. So rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Have a nice goddamn day.